Today we're going to be making cheese and crackers. If you've ever experienced vegan cheese from the grocery store, you'll know that it doesn't really quite cut it. But this cheese is, I think, the best that we've found. It's based with, on agar agar, which is just a, a powder, or you can get it in a flake form too. Um, so this calls for five teaspoons of agar agar and a cup and a half of water, and you cook it for about five minutes on the stove you know, whisking it every once in a while, and it comes out looking like this. It's pretty gluey. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna put that in the Vitamix. And it does smell a little funny, but that smell goes away and it doesn't go, come through on the taste at all. Okay, we've got some red peppers, some lemon juice, onion powder, nutritional yeast, cashews, and a teaspoon of mustard, or maybe about a half teaspoon of mustard. And then all you do is mix that together. Oops. There we go, nice and smooth. Now we're gonna put it in a baking pan. It's already been lined with baking paper. Just gonna get it in there and smooth it around a bit. And then we'll put that in the refrigerator until it sets up. And then we'll get on to making our crackers. Now we're on to making the crackers. So we start with our almond meal. and our dried onion flakes, the Bragg's liquid aminos, poppy seeds, and water. And just mix it up. We might need a little bit of extra water. I'm not, I'm not sure quite yet. You just want the mixture to get stuck together. Enough that you could squish it into a ball and then roll it out, kind of like pie crust. And I tell you, these crackers are so good. Last time I made them, they were gone in about 10 minutes. My family just devoured them, along with the delicious cheese. Just about ready, if you see what it looks like. It's still kind of crumbly, but I think we can just kind of mash it into a ball a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna put it on a lined cookie sheet with some baking paper. Just put the glob in the middle. And mount it a little bit. And then you'll have another piece of parchment paper or baking paper that you put on top so that we can roll it out with the rolling pin. It's a little easier, makes less mess, doesn't stick to your rolling pin. And then you can get it nice and even in thickness. And then you want to preheat your oven to uh, three, 325. So I would say the first bake is probably about 10 minutes. And then you'll score them. Or I'm sorry, you'll flip them over and then score them so they don't fall apart when you are flipping it. So it looks about like that. So we're going to put that in for about 10 minutes. All right, there's halfway through. I noticed they were getting a little bit brown, so I took them out a couple minutes early. So, 
Oops. That's right. So we need to flip it first, which is a little bit tricky because it's pretty hot. There we go. Pull the paper off. And then we'll just score it into just, you know, basic cracker shapes. And then we'll stick it back in the oven for anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And they should be ready to take out and break up and eat. Okay, now we have our crackers. They, I took them out and they're already cool. And I've cracked them apart a little bit. They're nice and crunchy and our cheese is done. It took about 45 minutes um, to harden up. So we're just gonna take it out, you know, flop it onto our cutting board here. If you can see that, I mean, that feels just like cheese. It's amazing. And one for me. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Mommy, crackers and cheese. Oh, yes. Here they come.